Hi everyone, this is Eliza and today on Counseling Conversations we are talking about boundaries and I have this question and I'll just read it. It says, are boundaries something Christians should be concerned about? Should we just have an open trust of God to whatever and whoever comes our way? Uh, this is this is a common question for believers to struggle with because after all, aren't we called to lay down our lives for others? Well, boundaries, simply put, help us know when best to say yes and when to say no to a situation. They're limits. That's the basic way to think about them. So I like to think about it like this. Boundaries are actually about self-control because that's what limits really are. And I think of Proverbs 25, 28, that says this, it says a person without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. That is not a good picture. It's a picture of self-destruction or devastation. It shows no protection. It shows no care. That's the life of a person without self-control or without limits. So boundaries are about self-control and they can prevent self-destruction. When you are always saying yes to something or someone, you're saying no to something else. And you may think it might be the right thing to do because again, isn't this selfless living? But if you allow others to have so much of your physical and your emotional energy that you have nothing left, you're going to find yourself exhausted and unavailable. And sometimes you're going to be unavailable for the things that you need the most, things like time with the Lord or rest. And when you're depleted physically and emotionally, you're going to respond to life out of that depletion. So just a couple of things I want to clarify as we, uh, as we think here about boundaries. Saying no is not the same thing as being selfish, unkind, or rude. Now, you, you certainly could be those things when you say no, but you don't have to be. You can say no and be none of those things. So keep that in mind. And also saying no helps others to, helps actually you and others to respect um, God-given limits. And that's important for, for both you and other people to respect those. Saying no also can indicate a sense of um, security in the right things. So it shows that your identity or your worth isn't wrapped up in the approval of others. You're confident to be able to set a healthy boundary in a relationship, or you're trusting God with what you can do and what you can't do. So that's really important as well. I would also say that saying no strengthens relationships. When you're able to clearly communicate what is and is not okay in the relationship, that's good. So let me give you an example. For example, um, helping a close friend or even family know when it's okay and when it's not okay to come over to your house. That shows security in the relationship. Or maybe graciously uh, saying to your spouse or somebody close to you, um, helping them see what's an okay tone of voice or even an okay volume when you're in a more, uh, a conversation that has a little bit of conflict to it. That's healthy for the relationship. One other thing to keep in mind is that the Lord himself also said no. This was something that he did. He didn't say yes to every ministry opportunity that came his way. He also um, didn't say yes to the plans that his disciples thought would be best. Um, he said no to some of those things. And he also said no to his family at times. But one thing I do want to want you to hear in this is that Whenever the Lord said no, he was saying yes to the father. And that's really something we can model that he never said no to others unless he was saying yes to the father. So keep that in mind that saying no is always saying yes to something else. One final thing I want to leave you with just to kind of keep in mind as you think about boundaries, boundaries are not meant to keep people out of your life. They're meant to create the best environment to let them in. Maybe I'll just say that again. Boundaries are not meant to keep people out of your life. They're meant to create the best environment to let them into your life. So done well, they'll bless a relationship and the people in them. You can set limits and still love a person.
I would say actually that you set limits out of love for a person. So I hope this has been helpful.